CETA is a trade deal that we in the Trade Justice Group are very concerned about. It's going to affect workers' rights and labour standards. It also is going to affect the quality of our food. We're going to have maybe the introduction of chlorinated chicken of GMO food, which a lot of people are concerned about. There's a huge drive at the moment in Ireland to move towards sustainable organic food. With this deal, it means that we're going to have mass-produced agribusiness food, which will lower the standards for sure. In terms of our agricultural and fishing industries, our beef industry is going to really be affected by that. I'm here in Longford with Johnny Murray and this is a typical family farm. The Central Statistics Office tells us that the average size of an Irish farm is 30 hectares. In Canada, the average farm size is 800 hectares. If CETA is ratified, it will actually wipe out the family farm as we know it and the Irish landscape as we know it. There's absolutely no way that the Irish family farm can survive with 50,000 tonnes of beef being imported into the EU. Under CETA, we have what's called the harmonisation of regulations. In the EU, there are very, very strict standards for the production of food. In Canada, where farming is very intensive, there's the use of antibiotics and chemicals, uh, genetically modified feedstuffs and so on, that are not allowed in the EU. With other trade agreements, it was found when standards were harmonised that it led to a lowering of standards rather than a hiring of standards. The family farm is the very fabric of rural life. It provides employment. It has come to our notice that CETA, so-called trade agreement, is actually a corporate power grab and it is TTIP by the back door and it is very dangerous to our consumers here in Europe and our producers. We are very, very concerned about it and we would ask you to share this video to alert people to the dangers of this. Obviously we're not opposed to trade, but it's not trade at any price. And a deal like CETA unfortunately brings very, very problematic elements like the ICS, this investment arbitration proposal, whereby member states can be sued for introducing progressive regulation. Each and every member state has the right to vote effectively on the ratification of CETA. So a vote will come before Dáil Éireann. And what is absolutely critical for individuals who are concerned about not just the environment, but the impact on their back pocket and their tax bills, is to get on to their local TDs, express their concerns and say there hasn't been sufficient public debate. My name is Matthias Kelly. I'm a senior counsel here in Dublin and a Queen's counsel in London. CETA will result in an investment tribunal, giving them a completely different legal structure. Matters that otherwise would have been resolved before the Irish courts will if this is implemented, no longer be resolved by the Irish courts. It will be by the supranational tribunal. I think the CETA proposal does give rise to constitutional issues in Ireland. I say that because Article 34, sub-Article 1 of the Constitution vests the power to dispense justice in the Irish domestic courts. You see, the constitutional position in Ireland is that all power flows from the people, not the other way around as it is, for example, in the United Kingdom. Here, powers cannot be given away, which the people have entrusted to the various organs of government without the consent of the people. The government and the Oireachtas cannot give away power entrusted to them, and in this case to the courts, without the approval of the people as expressed in a referendum. Put another way, before CETA can be implemented, in my view, it's straightforward. A referendum is needed to give away the judicial power that this would involve. This is a mechanism which will allow foreign multinationals sue the Irish government for loss of profits. If this were to happen, it would be the biggest surrender of our sovereignty since the signing of the Act of Union. The ICS part will take precedence over our judiciary and that is really going to affect our democracy. This deal is not really going to benefit you know, every single person, it's going to benefit just corporations. I see this as a way of undermining the everyday citizen. Ireland is in a key, key position. We are so unique. We are a GM-free Ireland. And what we're going to be seeing is food coming into our country that, that's been grown using GM practices. Your thoughts on Trudeau's visit and how that was handled? I think that it was just an exercise in spin and it was just deflecting from the seriousness of this impending trade deal. 
If the general public knows about the impact of this deal, I think everybody will be out on the streets. So CETA is another attempt to grab the resources of the masses and give it to the point whatever 1%. I think we all need to mobilise and just get up and say no. Find out about it and try and say no to it.